Former state senator Jay Kalani English learned how long he'll spend behind bars. Today he was sentenced in federal court. KITV 4's Paul Drews now joins us live in studio and reports there were arguments and apologies heard before his sentencing. Paul. While attorneys disagreed over how much time should be served, everyone agreed the disgraced lawmaker sold his political position and power. And before he was sentenced, Jay Kalani English said he will take this time to reevaluate his life and do things to be a better person. The former state senator arrived in federal court hoping for a lighter sentence. His attorney asked for 30 months, while the prosecutor asked for a stiff sentence to send a message that elected officials who take bribes will be prosecuted severely. That this was not just any elected official. This was the majority leader of the Hawaii State Senate. This is an incredibly powerful man with a lot of position uh, to sell, to bark, to peddle, uh, to bribers. So having an individual like him on the, on the wrong end of all these bribes was incredible. Incredibly damaging. English pled guilty to wire fraud by not reporting money and gifts given to him in exchange for his efforts to kill a cesspool bill. It was incredibly easy. He was not reticent about accepting bribes, taking money, never reluctance. Many times it was his idea. This was not an individual that was shy about taking money and, and performing favors for that money. Judge Susan Mulway found when English took the bribes, he was not under duress. He was not in need. So it was a matter of greed. Before the judge, English said he had deep remorse and sorrow over his actions, but couldn't explain why he did it. Afterwards, he did not want to say anything to voters. This is a stain on Hawaii, um, the Hawaii legislature and um, the Hawaii politics. This case uncovered illegal bribes by individuals, and that's one way they can track the money to lawmakers through those donations. But there are other ways where the money trail is murkier. We need to know who is trying to influence uh, how people get elected. While some may be turned off to Hawaii politics because of the latest former leader being sentenced, Ma with Common Cause Hawaii hopes this will encourage more people to get involved in politics. This is a clarion call for more civic engagement and for more voting and for more watching government. This is not a time for people to turn away. And I don't think people want to. Now, in addition to having to serve 40 months in prison, English will have to pay $100,000 in fines and he'll start serving his sentence on August 16th. Paul Drews, KITV4 Island News.